in my eyes, I, I was praying for a takeover when when we had all the talk. Uh, it didn't happen. I was gutted. I know a lot of fans. I know a lot of people up there. They wanted it to happen because the club from the top just needs to freshen up. Um, you know, look, it, it didn't happen. Um, and then Steve was in charge. And I don't think he was ever going to get off to a good start anyway with, with the connection he had with Sunderland and Newcastle fans who, you know, they've lost Rafa and then you've got Steve Bruce. Um, so I, it was never going to work straight away. And it's a results-based business. And, you know, look, he, he has actually done really well. But, yeah. but then you look at the last 10 games um, and, and you're always going to get a run of games, I think, in a season where it doesn't go so well. But, you know, after watching them, and I know they lost St. Maximum, um, who is their bright spark, but, you know, you've got plenty of other players and, and it just shows how, how reliant they are on them. That, you know, when he came on against Aston Villa, they looked so flat in that game that it was almost like, you know, oh, you know, we're just waiting for, for Alan to come on. And, and, and it, was, it was mad because every time he sort of, was free. They gave him the ball like he was messy. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. do something for us, please. You know, and and it was very much the same last night. I mean, I thought he was brilliant when he came on last night. Uh, but it's almost like it's a case of too little, too late. And look, I, I, you know, I love Steve because I've had him twice as manager. He's a great yeah. guy, uh, and I'm sure the players really like him too. But you look at him on the sideline; he seems so stressed. He 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 just looks. He could actually be ill off what he's going through, uh, and it's not good for him, and it's not good for the fans either. So, what do you think the answer is? Because you got someone proud like Steve Bruce, and any manager would never want to walk away from it. Because also, I mean, let's be honest, there'll be payoffs as well involved if if someone gets gets the sack. So, do you think he should just say, you know, enough of this now, and, and I'm going to go, or do you think someone should be making the decision already now? Um, yeah, I, I I don't think Steve will, will, will be that guy. Uh, he's not just gonna he's not gonna quit. He's not a quitter. I don't think he's. I don't. I think looking back, I don't think he's ever quit. Um, and no one as well. He he he, he won't quit. But especially being at Newcastle, I mean, it's his obviously he, and he always comes out and says it's his boyhood club. But I don't think he he'll walk. So so then the decision does come from above. Yeah. Um, but then but then you look out there and think well. Who's ready to go in? I don't know. Obviously, Rafa left his job the other day, and the Newcastle fans are wanting back. But eyebrows are up everywhere as soon as looking out, looking to the far east. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you look on social media, um, and I, you know, follow a lot of Newcastle connected people, um, and and automatically they're they're instantly thinking he's going to come back. But you know, you, who else do you look to? But yeah, you know, I, I think if Steve remains in charge. It, it can, you know, if, if results don't change, it's only a matter of time. 